by the end of this video, you're going to have one of two things, either a fully converting Shopify store already preloaded with tons of winning products or nothing. The choice at this point is yours. Rather than just watch this video and do nothing, why don't you go ahead and click the link in the description below and follow along with me. I'm going to make this super simple for you and I can guarantee that by the end of this video, you're going to have a fully built and converting Shopify store that's ready to start making sales. So ready to finally get off your ass and start doing something? Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So when it comes to creating our own Shopify store, what we're going to be using is going to be the AutoDS AI pre-built Shopify stores. They are super easy to start and they come in a variety of different niches that really can encompass any type of product that you're trying to sell. So for this, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to run over to autods.com. Again, just click the link in the description below and you'll be taken directly there and go ahead and sign up for our two week promotion for just one dollar. Now, at the time of this recording, there could be a different promotion going on. So just make sure to check out the description down below. There could be a secret coupon code for you there. Now, once you have your account set up and you're ready to go, the first thing we're going to see is this. So here we can see the very first thing we need to do is to select a store type. So for this, we're going to be using Shopify. So let's go ahead and click on that and then go to continue. Now for this, we have three different options. You don't have to worry about the first or the third one. We're going to go with the middle option because it comes with already handpicked and winning products along with our pre-built AI Shopify store. So let's go ahead and click on continue from here. And now we're going to choose our niche. So what niche do you like? What niche are you interested in? That's the very first thing I always ask somebody, because if you don't know the niche that you're getting into, then chances are you're probably going to be picking products that nobody likes. You might find them interesting, but other people that already know that niche or are in that niche, they might not. It might be something regular to them. So in this case, I'm going to choose something that I know very well, which is going to be in between electronics and gadgets or pets. I'm going to go with electronics and gadgets for this one. So let's go ahead and go to next. All right. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and choose two different banners. I always like to go with banners that are pretty relevant to what I'm going to be selling. So I'm going to go with, let's say this one right here, because I do like the fact that there's a little space in the middle. You can put a little message in there or something. And then the next one is going to be this one because it shows that we have a lot of different products in stock and they're all ready to go out in time for gift season. So maybe even for December, even though it's quite a way away, but still. Okay. Now, after we do that, we need to actually create our own Shopify account. Now you can do this, whether you have an account already or whether you're starting a brand new account and you're new to Shopify. So let's go ahead and click on access Shopify. And now once we get to this link, then we're going to have the option to be able to sign up for the Shopify special promotion. Now this promotion can change from time to time. Right now it seems to be $1 a month for three months. So you get three months for a total of $3. It's actually really good. You can easily make your money back and even start making a profit. So let's go ahead and put in our information. I'm going to use an already existing account that I have. All right, so we can go ahead and go through all of this. Now we need to go ahead and sign up with our payment information. Now this is a little bit different because I want to say just a couple of months ago, you did this towards the end. So this is already something that's changing right now, but that's okay because at the end of the day, we're only paying three bucks, right? And to start it, we're only paying $1. So now we need to choose our plan. Which one do you want to go with? I highly suggest just go with the basic. That's really all you need. Now go ahead and put in your business address. So here's the thing, right? With your business address, you can either put it now or you can put it later. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to fill this out. So whether you do it now or you do it later, it's something that you're going to have to do. I at one point tried getting away with not having to do this, but customers won't be able to check out if you don't do this. Now this part, what would you like to sell? Don't worry about that. Just skip the customized setup. And from here, you're pretty much all set. Now we can go back to AutoDS and then let's go ahead and click on continue. Now it's going to tell us to access the Shopify plans. We already did that. So it's okay. We just go ahead and click on it. Now we're already subscribed. So you can just go ahead and click on subscribe and you'll be good to go. Now return back to AutoDS and go to continue. Now click on access the Shopify app store. Now we are going to have to go ahead and install the AutoDS app to our Shopify store and doing so is super easy. All you have to do is click on install and then install once more. And then it's going to take us directly back to the AutoDS page. So we can go ahead and close out the other tab. Now, this is what we're going to see next store AI customization. Now is when the AI is actually going to do its thing and it's going to start customizing our store for us. So let's go ahead and click on customize my store. Let's give it a couple minutes, let it do its thing. 
All right, so once more, access Shopify to publish your store. Now we need to actually remove the password. This is easy as well. Go ahead and click on access. Now it's gonna take us directly to this spot. So where it says password protection, let's just go ahead and turn that off and then click on save. Now we can go ahead and continue through AutoDS and our Shopify store is going to officially be live. So that's really all you need to do to get your Shopify store started and up and running. So if I'm looking at the timer on my end, I can see that I have so far spent about 13 minutes and 20 seconds but that has also been me talking to the camera, looking to the side, you know, doing a couple of things here and there. So at the end of the day, it's most likely after being edited and everything, it's gonna be a lot shorter. So you can definitely get your store started really, really quickly. And it's already preloaded with winning and trending dropshipping products. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our store in just a second, but let me show you also something else that you have, which is the handpicked product section. So if we run over to the marketplace and then click on the handpicked product section, here you're gonna find all of the different products that you can add to your own store in a variety of different niches. These are all winning and trending products. Some of them are already included in your store, but you can find a collection of tons more. And again, these are all picked by expert drop shippers with a specific criteria in mind. Now let's go ahead and take one that, let's check this one out actually, a garlic crusher. I know it doesn't have anything to do with our store, but I just wanna show you something within this actual page. So this is our One Piece garlic crusher, right? Now here you have a few different pieces of information. For one, you have how many people have ordered it, you have how much it's being sold for, the potential profit, and how much it costs. Besides that, you have an engagement score and a saturation score. So the engagement score really just tells you how many people are interacting with this on social media, while the saturation score is telling you how many people are trying to sell this product. Now, the saturation score, I see more of a marketing difficulty score. And the reason I say that is because at the end of the day, no matter how saturated a product is, if your marketing is on point, if you can market your product appropriately and to the right niche, then you can easily outmarket everybody else, even the people that are selling tons of units. But again, you need to make sure that you market appropriately. So while there could be a lot of different people that you could target for one specific product, you could target multiple people in multiple niches, you can start to niche down and make, let's say, one marketing video, let's say on TikTok or whatever it may be, or an ad for each one of those groups. But besides that, if you do want more information on marketing or anything like that, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know that you wanna learn a little bit more about marketing. And along with that, include the hashtag AI dropshipping and I'll send you over a cheat sheet with everything that I'm talking about in today's video. So you can also get started even without watching this video. You can get started and follow along just with that PDF file. All right, so besides that, there's also a lot more information. So you have your target audience. So if you are running ads, you can use this information here. And then if you don't know how to create your ads or if you're having some problems coming up with creatives, then you can go ahead and check out the social ads section down here. Here you can see different TikTok and Facebook ads that are currently running promoting this same product. Now, besides that, just a couple more things I wanna show you. You have the competitors page here. So let's click on one of these like this one. And then it'll take you to a website that's actually selling this product. So you can go ahead and take a look at the sites, see what they're doing to promote the products, check out their description, their pricing, and how their store is laid out. Personally, I think that a lot of this is very, it's too much. Like, I don't think you need all of these item pictures. And even here it says item pictures. I don't think you need all of these when you have this over here. Like it just doesn't make sense to me to have pictures on both the left and the right. And then if you look over here, you have a really weird return and refund chart. So if it's not received, you can do these two and then they all lead to this. Please be patient to wait. Yeah, so you see, this is something that you can also look into to find out what not to do. So you can look at something like this and you can say, all right, this actually doesn't look that good. Maybe I can replace all of these images with just a little bit of text and then that alone will make it look a lot better. So these are just a couple of examples that you have. Some of these might be just amazing websites as well that you can take inspiration from. So let's say this is something that you want to import to your store. All you have to do is click on import draft and then just go ahead and choose your store depending on if you have multiple stores or not. I have a lot of different stores, so I have to choose which one. But if you have just your one store, you could just click on import draft and it'll be imported to your draft section. Now the draft section is simply this right here where you can go ahead and click on the product itself and you can edit anything that you need. You can go ahead and edit the title, the description, the collections. You can even create a unique product page directly from this page that showcases all of the highlights and the product itself. So it's really cool, it makes things a lot easier. 
But if you don't want to create a product page, then that's okay. You can simply just go ahead and optimize the description using AI or write it in yourself. Then you have your variants tab. The variants tab is actually one of my favorite tabs because if you click to edit one of the variants, you have a full on pricing calculator. You can change all of the information on here. And let's say the profit percentage and the fees percentage, right? So let's change the fees percentage to 10%, just as an example. You can see that our total profit went down to 80 cents. Now, if we increase our profit to, let's say 50%, our profit is now $1.54. So what does this mean? This means that when you have this particular product, you can buy it at 248, you have 10% in fees, and you wanna make a 50% profit. We can make the dollar amount zero. That means we can sell our product for $4.13. Now, the cool thing about this is that we can take home $1.24 if we sell it at $4.13, but this is already excluding the fees. So this right here, the $1.24, that's your actual take home profit. So that takes the guesswork out of your pricing. And we all know that if you get your pricing wrong, you're gonna be losing money and none of us wanna do that. So you can go ahead and price your products through there. Then you can add or delete or even edit any images through the images tab. And then once you're ready for this product to go live on your store, just click on save and import. And within a few minutes, it'll be live in your store. So now that we went through this, there's a lot more that we can go through in terms of the different tabs here. But if you do want to learn more about any of those, just check out some of the different videos that we have on our YouTube channel. We have really something that explains everything that you see here. So now the moment that you've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and check out our Shopify store. So how did it come out? Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so this is what it came up with. And of course, this is in the electronics niche like we chose. So here we have the two different banners that I told you about. And you see how right here, it fits perfectly in the middle, this text, player world, and then a bit of information and the shop now. That's why I chose this banner in the first place. So it can have a clean spot to have this uh, information. Now, if we move to the next one, we have the next one here as well. Looks really good. Scroll down a little bit. We have a few different products, a little bit of information. We have some nice little animated sections on here. Oh, and by the way, this banner up here is also a nice little animated banner. I think it looks really good. But then if we scroll down, we have a why choose us. So you have a couple of trust badges. Of course, you always wanna build uh, trust in your customers. So that way they trust giving you their money. We have a little video here that can showcase your products. We have some testimonials, what our clients are saying, and even a contact us form and an about us section all the way at the bottom. So as you can see, it's a very, very clean layout. It's a very clean store. And even if you go to the catalog section over here, you can see a pretty unique take on your products list. A lot of the times when you click on the catalog or technically the all products section, you're gonna have just little blocks with just your basic products. Here, it doesn't do that. Here, it actually takes a more unique stand to it and it lays everything out a bit differently for you. And then once you do start to scroll down, you can see all of the different products that are already included in the store. And then if funny enough, you have all of these electronic products or electronic related products and you have a garlic crusher, the one that we just imported. So that's pretty much everything that you need to know on how you can get started dropshipping using AI in just a few minutes. Now, there are a couple of things that you do need to do besides this. So if we run back over to our Shopify admin, so let's just go over here to our regular Shopify page. If we go to finance, this is something that you are gonna have to do. So under the finance, you are gonna need to activate Shopify payments so you can start receiving payments. So after you go ahead and set up your Shopify payments, I do suggest that you also set up things like PayPal. So that way you can cater to a broader audience. Some might not feel comfortable giving out their credit card, but they don't mind using PayPal. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found this video informative. Hopefully you found it entertaining and hopefully you took something away from it, specifically a Shopify store. If you were able to follow along and create your own Shopify store, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on the process. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.